OK, so someone asked how to actually create a Linux boot disk. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to take you through how to create a boot disk from a Windows system. This is Windows XP. I'm just going to pull up my browser here. Easiest way of finding where your preferred distribution is is to go to linuxium.com, click on the desktop guide, have a look under the Introducing Linux topic and you will see a topic entitled Linux distributions. So down here we've got Ubuntu, we've got Fedora, we've got Mint, Puppy, TinyCore. So um, I think I'm going to take Mint today, so I'm just going to click on the link here to the Mint homepage. Here we go. So I want to have a look at the latest version, Mint 11, so I'm going to take this one here and I can just scroll down here there is some information on the actual release here but all I want to do is download it so I'm going to click on my nearest mirror site in this case it's this one here a little dialog box here saying here's the file do I want to open it or save it I'm going to click on save and then I'm going to go OK and the download begins OK, for certain distributions, uh, such as Mint, then uh, this is going to take quite a while to download. Here we are back in Teletubby land. OK, finally we need to write the image to a DVD so we can boot off it. So here I'm going to use a utility that I've already got installed called Infra Recorder. Um, you can use any utility that you can find out there on the web, there are lots of them out there. Um, and I'm going to choose this Write Image option. OK, now I need to navigate to where my uh, image is. Here it is, so I'm just going to open it. OK, and I can just set various options on here. So I want one copy, maximum write speed, eject the disk after writing. I'm not too worried about that. I can just click OK and the operation will start up. It will take several minutes normally to complete so we'll just skip over this process. OK, so it's finished the burn now. All I need to do is click on OK and I can close this down now and let's try and restart Windows and see if we can pick up the new boot disk. So I'm going to do a restart. If you've got your DVD already configured to be your primary boot device then obviously you don't need to enter the boot menu. And I am just going to start it in normal mode. And here we are in Let's Mint.